Squad. Today I play a game called Sea of Stars. Basically, right now I'm trying to set up camp and we're trying to search for a place. Because we have to go to like this person to trade us or something. I don't know. But it's a really cool RPG game. Where like the two different characters I'm pretty sure are based on like the sun and moon. My character, which I kind of forgot her name, is based on the moon. And then the other character, which I also forgot his name, oh hi, is a is based on the sun. Oh, Valerie. I, I remembered her name, guys. Apparently we're fighting a rock bull. We're gonna stab it. Yeah, it's an RPG, and we can also block, which I did not block very well. Ouch. Let's try this. Oh, a skill. Crescent Arc. Ooh. I don't know what I'm doing. <gasps> oh, that was good. Valerie found anything? Just a dead end. How about you? Nothing to, of note. But the way to the top is definitely through here. The sun is setting. I'll come and get a fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for more tomato clubs. Press A to unroll, unroll, wait, yep, press A to unroll, unroll ladders. Should've gone the other way. I wonder if I could've gone the other way. But yeah, that's the other character you can play as. So, it's pretty cool. Okay, so now we have to go through this dark and scary cave. Spooky. Ooh. Pretty cool creatures. Oh, also, there's a boulder. He tried to attack me. This guy, why is this guy? Look, he looks like a snail with a butterfly. Or no, that looks more of like a flower. Okay, so now I have a skill. Ooh, okay, let's do this. Nope. And bop. Bop. Nice. And now he's gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna attack you now. Ooh, I blocked it. And we're gonna... Wait, what? I didn't even see what he had on him. I like how you just don't even... It's not even like a battle transition. You just fight in the middle of the square. It's kind of funny. Just go like, Hey, we're gonna fight right here because it'll be funny. I mean, that's kind of what happens, you know? Oh, hey. Ooh, cutscene time. Where I get to voice act the characters with my very beautiful voice. Ha, but it doesn't beat the face. Wait, what? Well, I didn't reread that. Ha, but it doesn't beat the fat face that you made. Okay, one more time. Ha, but it doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. Oh, I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether by paying attention to class or by rescuingly attempting to protect her with your open pop, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. To be fair, you did learn. Oh yeah, that one only took once. You ever miss those years? Before training, just being a kid, always daydreaming and getting into trouble. And making mistakes. I'm sorry, Valerie. I didn't mean... It's okay, I understand. Why, would... Why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened, it just... I wish he had said goodbye, you know? After 10 years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's alright. And that's why I'm still friends. Oh, I thought they were brother and sister. I mean, it makes sense. Like, I thought, I thought they were brother and sister. You know, because, like, what's the sun, what's the moon, you know? Why did we have to go ahead and get, our, get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, Garrel. Garrel? Oh, yeah, now it's time to go to sleep. Ten years ago, in the village of Moon Cradle. Oh, okay, so it's now flashback. My weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. We'll be unstoppable. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. The sleeper? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. What's that? Well, you see, uh, it's, uh, stories say it's a giant serpent. It's been curled up around a mountain ever since before the traveling histories were able to record it. 
No way, my dude. Sure is. It's boat it's super dangerous too. But don't worry, it can't wake up. Why not? Apparently there's holes in the mountain and wind blows them, and that plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Hopefully no one tries to tries to plug in those holes and it'll be the climatic final boss. What? I wanna see it too! It's the it's the bell. Ernia and Bugraves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. Also, what does this do? Oh, book story time. Oh, we just saved the game. <laughs> Level one, gold zero. Time eight minutes. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was like a, hey, you can learn this stuff, but no, it's not. It's actually just to save your game. But that's pretty cool how books are to save your game, I guess. So, is this the place? Hey there, youngsters. Are you still playing in that cave down below? Oh. Well, look, I don't know where I'm supposed to go, okay? Oh, hey, look, it's a farmer. These crops are our main source of food. It's hard work, but I'm reminded every day when we eat all together. Okay. Maybe I go to this store. I hope you're not getting in trouble again. Wait, why do I sound like the other two villagers? I don't know, that's a good question. We should probably figure that one out. Okay, oh, oh, perfect. Hey, wait! Ooh, cutscene time for real. So, oh. There you are. Playing your secret hideout again. We were trading. Oh, wait, that's not the right voice. We were trading. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see then. Whoa! Come closer, Zell, and open your palm and concentrate. <laughs> what about you, Valerie? Have you been trained too? Every day. I bet I'm stronger than you now. Haha, <laughs> I'm sure you are. Come here then. Yeah, yeah! Whoa, well, easy now. I can't report to the headmaster if you knock me out. Yeah! Woo! <sighs> Gasp! That was awesome. Oh, wait. It's hard to do like five voices. <laughs> I guess six if you count all the villagers. That was awesome, Zale. You did it! Okay, seriously. I don't know where I'm going with these voices. So, okay, I know how to do it. Soulless Warriors. If you are done with your babysitting dues, I would like to hear your report. Right away, Headmaster. Can we go too? Believe me, once you enter Zenith Academy, you wish you had it. What? Let's go, Boo Graves. I really don't know how to say your voice, I mean your name, so I really hope I'm doing it correctly, otherwise it'd be very sad. <gasps> hey, the full moon is out! Sorry, uh, that's not my wrong voice. Uh, I got a frog in my throat or something. He's right, you know. Wanna go up to the Forbidden Cavern again? Hopefully I don't get taken. We tried already. We can't, I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided maybe the full moon can make the room more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work, and more more I will be so impressed. He'll take your true train right away, and then we'll finally be able to leave this island. What if he gets mad, delays our train, and gets dead? Nah, no way. What's the worst that could happen? Well, we can worry about it after I open it. <laughs> I mean, if I open it. <laughs> Why do you sound like Mickey Mouse? Like... Okay, time to go to the Forbidden Cave. Wait, what the? Oh, this is cool. It has its own little war, war map. Okay, and now we can save our game again. 12 minutes? Yeah, that will be the thing that will make sure I don't make my, my videos too long. We made it. Time to stop and get a snack. 
I'm not hungry. Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Look, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat a snack on the road. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Here. <gasps> it's a sandwich. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, no kidding. Glad you like it. It's the jam I used a bit of set from Celestial Window. A oh, window. <laughs> yeah, not not the Celestial Window. <laughs> you get in trouble for that. Only if you. I mean, sorry. <laughs> Only if you tell. Ha! <laughs> what was that laugh? I don't know, dude. I think she's weird. All right. How do I do this? Maybe like El Dorado show me how. Try opening your palm and concentrating. You got this, Valerie. Oh, right, sorry. You got this, Valerie. Ah, ah, ah. Did I do it? I think I did it. Sure. Yeah, that's why you scream in animes. I knew it. It worked. I did it. I finally did it. So now we're gonna go into the cave, and uh, he's gonna get stolen. Of course not. That that must have that would probably not happen. So do we just wait for him? Might as well enter as if we can be our first adventure. Yeah, and then the headmaster would know we're not afraid. This is exciting. Let's go. Ba da 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 da. Hey. Wait, can I just spin around the world? If only I could crouch. Just be like, oh. There's monsters over there. Let's hide. Oh, press the wrong button. I thought the Evermiss Island was safe. Guess that's only true for Moon Cradle. We should go back. They look dangerous. Yeah, good call. Huh. That was terrible timing. Watch out, there's another one. This is bad. We're surrounded. Maybe try to use your powers? We're not ready for this. Hopefully the headmaster doesn't come in and uh, teach try to teach us a lesson. Okay, let me focus. Uh, watch out. I mean, uh, sorry. Watch out. It's preparing something. Uh, come on, come on. Valerie, watch out. <gasps> no! Ah! Uh, no! Carol! My eye! It really hurts! I... I can't see! There's no escape! It's about to attack again! Hey, watch, the headmaster's gonna come in and we're gonna be like, Hey, we made a stupid mistake! So it was you. He's gonna be like, I am very disappointed in you. As resourceful as you are reckless, I see. Headmaster, Garo needs help. He got stabbed in the eye. What? He just walked into him. He was just like, okay, I'm gonna walk into you. <laughs> Hopefully nothing bad. It, it feels better. Like anyone born in Moon Cradle, a regular kid what Garo needs does not concern himself with the affairs of the Solistic Warriors. I'm really, I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was my idea. Hey, be thankful that you, that the only, only cost of this lesson was I, young lad. As for the two of you, if you are so eager to retreat training, I shall obligate. Follow me. Be sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor kid. He's not the complaining type, but the pain seems, to, but if the pain seems to return, send it to me. Understood, Headmaster. Hopefully, he doesn't die. You will not see your friend for a long time. If you have any parting words, speak them now. I... Can't he come and stay with us? How long is very long? Like, a week? As the eagerness of youth, it takes years to properly train Solistic Warriors. Years? No way. But... Your friends have much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to reflect upon what happened today. With any luck, it will help you forget any ideas of Gan involved with a bird that's not yours to bear. Guys, don't forget about me. Never. We'll train really hard. Maybe it won't take long. It probably will. 
So, is that it? Why is there so much dialogue? <laughs> I swear, I was like talking for like five minutes. At least for dialogue. I would guess I'd technically talk for the whole video. You know, but that's different. Well, uh, now we're ascending. How much of this flashback is... Like, why is this so long of a flashback? I am mean, granted, I'm not controlling anything. I'm just kind of sitting here. We're just like walking and... Oh, we now we stopped. Welcome to Zenith Academy. In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become true solistic warriors. We've been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Tomorrow, though. I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. Oh, no. Oh, we're still going up. Okay, now we're up here. What does that do? Oh, we're still going up. How high are we going? Are we just gonna, like, see the whole mountain? I guess up here? Oh, wow. It's actually really beautiful. Wow. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. Whoa, it's beautiful. I feel like a weird resonance when I op- Like when I opened the forbid cavern. Good for you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their inner, innate magic. Oh, that's why it's called Sea of Stars. I did it, guys. <laughs> it shows great promise that you were able to feel it before, and so too from what Erlina told me. Oh, it was just a small burst. They have no idea how much potential they have. It's gonna, they're gonna go on a great RPG adventure. It's probably for the best. Now, in many years you will spend at the ZF Academy, you will learn the duties income incubant upon solistic warriors, on the magic you are destined to wield, and the evils it is meant to please. We learned how to fight too, right? Naturally. You will spend your days training and studying, but most importantly, sewing. Yes! I finally get to play a game with sewing. I mean, I've been waiting for years for a game with sewing, and I finally get to do it. Sewing? That sounds boring. It probably is. Oh, I can assure you that it is. See? A mandatory task, nothing less. So, what are we sewing today? All who would join our order began with it there. A chant piece of faculty staple of the soap blood warrior. Blah blah blah. Is most prized possession guaranteed the light in the darkest place and measure a protection against the minions of the flesh mancer. But first you must learn your news. Train until you cannot fill your limbs and train some more. That sounds painful. So dude, you don't have voice lines. I mean people, you guys, you two. You guys don't have voice lines. I'm still talking. What you both which both your body and mind are ripe with potential. You will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You will be, then be sent out to beyond forbidden cavern to meet with El the Elder Mist, for it alone may official great the title of Solistic Warrior, Sewing. I understand it's not what you were hoping for, but this is what cry for you the time being. Years of sewing. That will be all for today. And you gotta sew. They should have called this game Sewing Simulator, except there's no sewing, it's still an RPG. Yep, you have to fight the sew. In order to make the sew, you will be studying a lot of times in these halls. You should make yourselves at home. To your left is the trade room. You'll go there first in the morning. Just above my waist, the chambers is off limits, of course. And to your right, you got your dormant tees. Feel free to look around. So when does this flashback end? I bet you it's probably gonna end when I go to sleep. So, let's see, what's over here? So this is the training room, apparently. So, are we sewing? <laughs> oh, you find there you are. More lead found inside that you're ready. Oh, uh, what's up here? Oh, we can't go up there. Okay, what about up here? Nope, we cannot go up here either. Bro, well, this is boring. I guess this is just a way to see, hey, where do I go for insert register thing? Even though there's like only two areas I can go. Ooh, who are you? I remember when Eldina and Bugrace were your, your, your age. They would not stop running. Ugh, I feel old now. Okay, now it's time to sleep. I like how I said this game was an RPG, but I'm pretty sure I only had like one RPG fight. No, two. Two RPG fights. 
Okay, how long has this video been? <laughs> Let's find out. 22 minutes. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. So wait, that whole time it was 10 minutes? Mostly dialogue? Jeez. Okay, time to sleep. Sleep. I think this bed is for me. Let's find yours. I think this bed is for me. Let's find yours. Why are both those beds for you? I think this bed is for me. Let's find yours. I think this... So what, are all four of these beds just him? Why? Are these my beds? Oh. So I guess that whole section is his, so that means my... This section must be mine. I, I don't know why. Like, why is there a whole section? Why do they need... Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten beds. Go to sleep. Yes. Okay, good night. The next morning, in the training room. Why are we still in the flashback? Like, we've been here for 10 minutes, and most of it's been dialogue. Good morning, fellas. Bugray, Bugraves. So you'll be our trainer? I wish. <laughs> Earlier and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You betcha! That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. Zero received a training sword. Well, received a training staff. Alright, let's get to work. We didn't even have an intense training montage. Oh. Oh, this is the part of the training. Huff, huff. You got this, Valerie. Don't give up now. Never. I can't even control them. Training montage. Ba da da. Da 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 da. Come on, Zell. Keep it up. Uh, duh, duh. I, I can do this. Go, go, go! 99, 100. That's it for today. You did great. Phew. That was a lot. If only it was like really fast. If only it had some intense music just like. Du, du, du. Well, okay, that's it for the day. Now we go to sleep. Why do we have to manually walk all the way over there to go to sleep? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I probably should go out there. Again, this. This is still an RPG, just most of it's been dialogue. Oh, there you are. Ready to learn magic? Oh, oops. Maybe I didn't pay attention. So, it should feel something was scratching an itch far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. I think it's working. Ha, hey, you stunned me. I almost had it. Now mine's gone too, sad. It's okay. Just breathe slowly. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your timing gets manifest, on three. One, two, three. Whoa. They did. I think I felt it. It tickles. Right there. You just did the hardest part. I'm sure your training will go well, but one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life and Erlita. Uh, since you are done onboarding our new recruits way of magic, I will provide the grief briefing for your next assignment. Jeez, this is... As for the two of you, it's about time you try that sewing kit. Yes! Finally! <laughs> Some gameplay! Move along now. Please tell me I actually get gameplay. And making a magic piece of fabric worthy of stars is sure a tall order. Sure is. Yeah, I don't know what idea what it's shaped to make this. Oh, I can't even sew. I I swear, most of this game has just been me talking. Like, and I do that in every video. That's kind of my job here. But, like, there has been barely any gameplay. Like, I think I did two RPG battles. I moved, and now it's just dialogue. Like, seriously. At least the headmaster said we would get right the first time. Oh, well, I'm bored. Dance. What, do we go to sleep now? What, what do I do? I guess I explore. Okay. Uh, ooh, what's over here? Sewing basics. If only sewing was a mini game. Like, I really just wanted to sew. <laughs> you keep saying that, but the flesh mancer left our realm for good when the dweller of, of strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? And you know the three of us can't take on the Wrath Island. We don't need them. 
Perdurance, Ella. Arena. There's no telling what threats we may face in the future. Valerie and Zell were brought to the moon created by the Great Eagle. Huh? Is that... It's not the place of the headmaster to question such things, and neither it is yours. So how much is enough? What about Morea? What about the twins? Bugraves? Do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. This conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But... Let's just go, Bug Graves. Is that it? I know you're there. No? Oh. And so they trained and they sewed for days and then for months. And still no training sewing game. Like, I wish I could just at least do something. <laughs> like, I don't know, I've just been pressing the A button. <laughs> like, I almost kind of wish that the running and the push ups. At least the sword was a mini game. Faster now, uh, and then now we're just gonna be like, focus on the release. Hoya! Uh, now what? And the longer the dweller is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. That this makes Peru duty essential. Let one grow for you too long, and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solistic warriors would be helpless, since the laying only increases the chance of of a world eater. Cleansing always target the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, if dweller are immune to magic, then how can we fight them? Ah, uh, that is why cleansing is always a performed during a total eclipse. In these moments, the dweller's weaknesses are exposed. How many dwellers are left? Just the one, known as Dweller of Woe, but we cannot know for sure. The Flesh Mancer just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we may always remain vill vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Valerie? What happens with the Dweller of Strife? And who's Moriana? We may never know. That will be all for today. What? You can't do that now! A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Oh no! Who is it? Valerie, wake up! Still sleeping. Zale, what is it? Sorry. I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go check it out. Alright. Let's go. You know, I probably should save my game, but in reality, I'm pretty sure the only times I would need to save this I was actually fighting, yet I'm not. Okay, we have to go figure it out. Please don't be anything bad. Please don't. Please? Who is it? Hey, look! What is it? Oh, it smells good. There's a note. Let's see. Dear Valerie and Zale, if you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. No. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but I hope I see you in person. I made cookies from the Celestial widow jam you like out the window no not the widow jam oh keep reading i'm doing everything i can to be ready to leave when you graduate in the meantime i hope your training is going well oops now the platforms is almost up i can see more line way up there waiting for me he looks very angry i'll try and drop the jar i found him noticing i guess that means i won't be able to try and visit again but i'm thinking of you every day i can't wait i hope you like the cookies your friend until the end of the time, Garrel. Garrel is the best. Let's go up to the disc and eat the cookies. Got cookie jar. Just says you got cookie jar. It's just like, oh, you can't actually move now. These cookies are amazing. I can't believe Garrel were just there. I miss him so much. He seems well, at least after what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. Knowing him, I bet he smiled all away the next day. Haha, <laughs> you're probably right. We can't let something like this happen ever again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never sell some good enough for Elder Mist. It will happen. We just have to keep our training hard. And so they trained and sewed for years. Like 10 years. And then they trained and they sewed some more. And now, until one day... Oh no. I'm scared. Oh. Zale. Oh, now I can talk to their adult voices. Zale, that's the one.
I can feel it. Hold on. All right, I think I got two. Let's see the headmaster. That was a very, that was a very long flashback. That means we're probably almost done. Is it just me or does the Zero kind of look like Cloud from Final Fantasy? <laughs> like I don't know, just like the blonde hair, I guess. Hey, we we sewed very well. It took like ten years. So you know. Headmaster, we think we're ready. Why yes, the tickling of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations. Moving forward there'll be no more sewing. I could deal with, I could deal with that. It will soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, the ZF Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, a visitor just arrived. Perfect timing. <gasps> it's you guys. I like how they still look exactly the same. <laughs> like, these two went through, you know, aging. These two haven't. Bye. You've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Our leader and Burgraves are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them. It will be ready for your final test. Okay, ready to fight. Ready to go for the basics of magic? No need. Uh, skip. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and start a few. The basics of magic. When enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. If you follow your senses, you can try dealing damage of the types that will break their concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. Valerie can do blood damage and Zale has slicing. Let's see if you break this one. Okay. Oh, is that what that means? Oh, okay. Bop. And then... Oh, okay, so Zeo has ha er, sword, Valerie has hammer. That's pretty cool. And then, nice. Just like that. Now some spells will also demand magic damage to break. You can control your projectiles now. Let's give it a shot. Zeo for the sun and Valerie for moon. Oh, that makes sense. Moonerang. Press A to deflect. Okay, that's pretty cool. And Sunball. Okay. Hold A for power. Uh, go. Ooh, that was nice. Well done. Now you can set your MP as a little bit low, right? To keep up the pace of battle, you must remember to... Okay, makes sense. Now we... a normal attack. Okay. Bop. Did you feel that? You just got some MP back by attacking. In battle, awareness leads to victory. You must pace yourself, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, combo energy. When you have enough power, you can spend combo points. Ooh. Combos cost no XMP and are lost after battle. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Combo attack. Oh, so it has both. Oh, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Bop. Oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, you're strong, all right. Keep an eye out for your adventures. You're bound to come across scrolls that will teach you more combos. Yeah, I think that's what I thought the book was. I was like, hey, look, there's a book. It's going to teach me something. Nope, it's here to save your game. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you do great. And now we have to talk to you. Once you review combat, combat basics, yes, please. Let's get started. Just attack me now in any order. Oh, okay, cool. Wait, so is there more party members? Than just my two characters? Oh, cool. So, there's more party members than just these two. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm guessing it's gonna be like, okay, so you, if you press A at the perfect time, you'll get more damage. Let's see, proper time. Hey, look, I, I found it. Let's see it. Press A as the hit connects. Okay, so. Bop. Oh, okay, that was nice. Good, let's see that one more time. Oh wait, we should probably do it with the other guy. Ooh, that is cool. Ouch, yeah, that's the gist of it. And now you're gonna try and defend. Right, we're gonna defend? Yeah. To be efficient, efficient in battle, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving with proper timing. Get ready, press A as the hit connects. Okay, 
Ah, that was so close. That was too soon. Nope. That didn't work. Okay, and... Oh, that was nice. Good. Let's do that one more time. Nope. Nope, yeah, that was too late. Oh, nice. That was... What? What do you mean that was too late? What? Ah. Okay, now. There we go. I did it. Okay, so... Yep. Uh-huh. Yep, uh-huh. Oh. Wait, what? How is this fair? You need to switch to more defensive mode. Carol hours will always get up on back of the old at 50 HP. What's all the Carol stars are gone? One Carol star... Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh. Okay, that's actually really cool. Okay. That's actually a really unique way of... Oh, so basically I just win either way. But that's a really cool mechanic of reviving your allies. You know... Not just having to, hey, eat this. You know? Yeah, we'll do great. Okay, now we're gonna be like, okay, um. Yes, we're ready. Then let us begin. The big day has finally come. After 10 years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways, including running. Attacking and sewing. Sewing is one of the craziest things ever. It will now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Yes, headmaster. Then speak them now. You go first, Zale. Mm. Okay, so. So that I may use my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions, I will enter the world as a blade dancer. I choose the curve blade as it does not hinder of my speed or reflexes. Welcome, blade dancer. Come on, Valerie. I did. And now it's your turn. Okay. Ahem. So that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk. I choose the staff, for it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome, battle monk. Today, you must demonstrate the mastery of anything. Zenith Academy has taught you. Your final challenge awaits now. P please step aside. Interesting. Oh, before I forget, here's something to keep your health full. Obtain three. That is a uh, pitchfork. I don't think that's edible. But okay. Now, with faith in your abilities, purpose, and okay. I'm ready, Valerie. Let's go for it. So, around the world. <laughs> oh, take the leap. Oh, it also automatically saves. I just realized that. Okay. Now we have to go through the dungeon. Oh. Hold up. Let's go up this ladder. Let's see. A cookie jar. Wait, we still have that? Why do we still have the cookie jar? I thought we ate it. Oh, I guess we have the cookie jar, but there are no cookies in it. So, I assume that's just for the hold items. Oh, okay. You know what to do. Attack. Skills. Use. Boomerang. And press A to deflect. Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh. Ah, so close. Ooh, nice. Ah, okay. Now Zao, use. Ooh, helix light. Nah. Okay, and hold A for power. Uh, yeah! Ooh, nice! You got 16 experience points. Yeah! That's pretty cool. The experience points, too. I think that's actually the first time we actually saw that. Now it's time to, to keep climbing. Also, we should also talk about this music. It's really good. Like, this music is really, really good. Wow, we found another- oh no, we have to fight. Okay, 
No, I don't. Ugh, we're just gonna attack you. Bop. Okay, nice. And, oh boy. Ooh. I'm not very good at dodging. Why are they all attacking me? There we go. And now we're gonna attack you. Ah, yeah. Okay, now we're gonna skill. Oh, I don't have. Um, I'm just gonna hit you again. Hi ya! Ooh, nice! And now. Oh no. Ooh! Oh no. Ah! This ain't good. Uh. Ooh, nice! Okay, now it's time. Boomerang! Let's go! Press A to deflect. Bop! And. Bop! Nice! 24 experience points. Now chances are my character's gonna die and I have no idea how to heal. And now we go up here. Uh. Oh, there we go. I'm like, it's not working. They haven't even begun the other side of the Forbidden Cabin yet. How could they understand? So you don't think we should at least try and explain? You've seen how strong they are. World will be a walk in the park. Let's see them off then. Okay, what happens if I press this? I did something. Oh! Exam mode engaged. Brace yourselves. Oh, yay! I get. Yay! Shuffle weakness. Okay, so. Bap! Vulnerable. Your turn. Oh no. Ah! He punched me. It hurt. Shuffle weakness, son. Okay, and now we go like, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, fire! Ooh, nice. I don't have that, so we're just gonna attack you. At least gonna be like, we're gonna attack you now. Waha! Let me get shuffle weakness. Yep, called it. Why would I do that? Like shuffling the weakness. If you could do that, could you just make it weak to nothing? Eh, hey, whatever. Okay. Please be good. And. No, that barely did anything. No, oh, whatever. Come on, and now he's gonna be like, I'm gonna attack you now. Wah. Now physical again. Ooh. Nice. And we gotta hit you again, and bop. And then. Bop. Oh. Do we. 40 experience points. Level up. And now we look at. Oh, level up. Oh, this music's really good. So we got mana points, which I. Oh, so mana points is our uh, MP. We got HP, magic defense, and physical attack. Ooh, this is pretty difficult. I'm gonna say mana points. And then we also level up for you. We should, I think, uh, ooh. Uh, let's get for you match or physical attack. And, and now you uh, die. Oh, you don't die. Dang. Oh, now we go down this conveniently place bridge. We just like, hey guys, what's up? Uh, there you go. Congratulations, Mallory and Zell. You've learned ev everything Zenith Academy has here to teach you. Ha! We did it! In record time, too. You must- Wait, record time? What was the last time? Now, in order to learn ultimate power, the ability of- Oh yeah, magic without using magic. I love that. But, th that knowledge is- Okay, very sad days. Uh, it is on special days such as this one that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of it, the importance of their duties. Where's Gale? I don't- I don't see him. Oh no. Many years ago, Valerie and Zale were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Deliveries on two societies in a row to boot. A very rare occurrence. Oh, I remember. Grand was so happy to, to meet these two villagers. They passed. I miss Grand. All of you have come together to nutrients, nurture, and protect them, just like your ancestors have done for so many children of the Solistic before. Valerie and Zale, step forward so that the good people of Moon Cradle might gaze upon those who will soon join the ranks of the Solistic Warriors. Bam. 
Also, this parading is ridiculous. Oh, let the villagers have the fun. It's all they get. So you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. Where's the other guy? He's not dead, is he? Now, cheer with me as we send these young heroes across the Forbidden Cavern to be Elder Mist. Oh yeah, I think that's what we were doing when we were setting up the campfire. Hooray! To the gate! Yeah, where's, uh... What do we do? I want to see Geralt before leaving. I guess we have to play along for now. Fingers crossed that we come back after the meeting of... Fingers and toes. Valerie, Zale, you must undertake this journey on your own now. We would not fail, Headmaster. Go on through the Forbidden Cavern and atop the moon mountain trail to seek the audience with Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without using magic. I know it makes no sense, but trust me, there will be a plot line to this. And and you shall enter... Blah, blah, blah. And then... And you shall then enter the world as true solistic warriors. May Lu Luna's... L Lunana's might protect you. May Solum's might guide you. Here, this should keep you fed for a little bit. Yes, more more pitchforks. I love pitchforks. I guess maybe that's supposed to represent the type of food being farmed. I don't know. And your adventure feels a little tough. You can take a look at these. An amulet of storytelling. That got secret flair. You just received your first two relics. Oh, that's cool. Uh, okay, cool, cool. Remember to keep your eye out for merchants. Selling any valuables you find may keep you well fed and well equipped. Now, whether your adventure takes you, much, remember your first assignment. After the Elder Mist sent you to the world, you must secure the passage. Okay, why is there so much dialogue? I still can't believe he wants the fighting age well already. That more lane for you. That's more lane for you. We were much older the first time. Yeah, but we'll find a way. Safe journeys, and may you cleanse this world. May you cleanse this world! May you cleanse this world! I don't care about the text box! That guy's weird. I know, right? <laughs> Anywho, time to go to the forest. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Aw. Okay, can I please save? I have to end the video. Oh, phew, this is safe. Okay, so now we go back here. <sighs> okay, please don't be an hour. 57 minutes. Okay, that's not bad, I guess. That's not too bad. I mean, there's probably not a lot that can be cut out, though. Considering it's a lot of dialogue. <laughs> so, you know. But, since we're right here and it's gonna be funny, this is where we're gonna end our video. We trained to become solistic warriors. And barely- and I barely just talked a lot. <laughs> like, there was barely an RPG, I just- I was, There was some fighting scenes, but mostly it was just like, Okay, guys. There's a, gonna be a bunch of dialogue, and I will have to go through it. So hopefully there isn't much dialogue when I play this again, because I definitely will play this again. It looks really cool and all that stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.